You really need to have the right kind of mindset to succeed. And when I talk about succeed, I'm not talking about succeeding in Linux, although we can talk about that as well. But really in life, if you want to succeed in life, you need to have the right kind of mindset because there's really two kinds of mindsets out there. There are the people that have a fixed mindset where they're not really interested in growing, learning, evolving beyond where they're at. And then you have the people that have the growth mindset where they want to grow, they want to evolve, they want to become more than they currently are. And that's the mindset you really have to have, especially with Linux. You know, when I talk about having the proper mindset to use Linux, to learn Linux, or I sometimes talk about the Linux mindset, I'm talking about having the growth mindset where you want to get up under the hood. You know, you embrace that challenge. You want to get down and dirty, get your hands dirty, and you want to find a problem. You want to solve it. And you, you're proud afterwards that you solved that problem because you gained a little bit of knowledge from doing that. And it's really easy to spot the people that have the fixed mindset and the people that have the growth mindset. Anybody that you really know. So think about all your family members and your friends. You know immediately the ones that have the fixed mindset and the ones that have the growth mindset. All you need to do is think about how they take on challenges, for example. The ones that have a fixed mindset, what do they do with challenges? They avoid them. They don't like challenges. Challenges are hard. <laughs> they avoid challenges at all costs. The ones that have a growth mindset love challenges. They embrace the challenge, right? They see it as an opportunity to overcome. And by overcoming that adversity, they can grow as a person. And you can really spot the fixed mindset crowd in the Linux community versus the growth mindset. The fixed mindset people, they're the ones that they settle on something, some piece of software. They settle on a distribution. They settle on the, the suite of software that they use, and they never want to explore other options because the other options are going to be a challenge because then they have to learn something new. And maybe those other options actually have a steeper learning curve than what they're actually using. So these are the people that, you know, they install Ubuntu and use Ubuntu for 5, 10, 20 years, you know, but they never explore, you know, hey, why don't you try Arch? You know, Arch is kind of a cool distribution. Why don't you go install Gentoo, play with Slackware? Why don't you install Linux from scratch in a virtual machine and play around with some of that? No, I ain't, I'm not learning that. That's, that's too hard. That's too time consuming. I'm not wasting all my time. Ain't nobody got time for that. You know, they're the ones that, you know, are using text editors like Nano or Gedit and things like that. And hey, have you considered learning Vim? I think you'd be happy with Vim. It's such a powerful utility to, to know. No, I can't learn that, right? That takes too much time. I'm not wasting all my time to learn something new. I'm happy with where I'm at. Another way you can tell the difference between the fixed mindset and the growth mindset is how people overcome obstacles or how they just handle obstacles in general, because the fixed mindset, they're not going to overcome an obstacle. They're just going to give up. They're going to give up easily. These are the people in the Linux community that you know, they can't get a certain Linux distribution installed. You know, they install it. And as soon as they get any kind of error, they just give up and move on to the next distribution and hope that works. Or, you know, they can't configure a tiling window manager, for example. I, I hear from people like this all the time because I do so much tiling window manager content on my channel. As these people, hey, I can't get DWM configured. I can't get Awesome configured. I can't get Xmonad configured. You know, it's usually they don't even bother researching the problem they're having. They don't go to the documentation. And, you know, many of these tiling window managers have really good documentation. They'll find all the answers in the documentation. They don't even bother looking, right? They just give up as soon as they encounter any kind of resistance. In contrast, the person with the growth mindset, you know, when they encounter some kind of obstacle, they're happy about it because it gives them opportunity to learn something, to find a problem, fix it, and learn from that. And these are the kind of people that really want to persist in the face of adversity. How much effort people put into something is another clue as to which mindset they are. The fixed mindset, they see effort as fruitless. They see it as pointless. You know, they don't want to put effort into anything because what's the point, right? Well, the growth mindset, they see effort, you know, hard work as, hey, this is this is good because effort is really the path to mastery. An obvious Linuxy example of this is, you know, the people that I hear from all the time with Emacs. You're right. I'm not going to learn Emacs. Learning Emacs, that's pointless. I've actually heard that, you know, they, that exact word. Learning Emacs would be pointless. Anyone that tells you that learning anything is pointless, they're in the fixed mindset because the growth mindset sees learning no matter what it is. 
<laughs> you know, just having that extra knowledge as a plus. How people receive and handle criticism is another clue as to which mindset they're in. So the fixed mindset crowd, they don't handle negative criticism at all. They just completely ignore it. It doesn't matter if it's just troll negative comments, you know, that, that I, I understand that. And I can understand ignoring, you know, those kinds of negative criticisms. But most negative criticism you get in life is constructive criticism. And you need to hear that. But the fixed mindset, they don't want to hear that. Where the growth mindset, they understand that negative criticism, you can learn from that. Unfortunately, we have people in the Linux community that are like this, that have the fixed mindset that can't handle any negative criticism at all. Sometimes you see some devs and some maintainers of software, sometimes even Linux distributions that just can't handle any kind of negative feedback. Uh, you also see this uh, with content creators you know, on YouTube and Odyssey and other video platforms or even uh, audio podcasts. You know, some content creators can't really deal with people criticizing their work. I'm sure you guys have probably watched YouTube creators. Uh, you, you go to their comment sections and all their comments are positive. All their comments are wonderful and glowing. And everybody in the comment section is kissing that creator's ass, right? They never have a negative comment. Well, of course they have negative comments. We all get negative comments. It's just that particular creator is one of the fixed mindset creators, right? He, he deletes every negative comment, even the constructive criticisms. He doesn't want any of that stuff in his comment section. He can't handle the negativity. Where somebody with the growth mindset as a content creator sees, especially the constructive criticisms, as a way to learn from their mistakes. So when somebody says, hey, this video format isn't working for me, or your lighting sucks in this video, or your audio is hot garbage, right? That's, that's wonderful. I love hearing that because maybe I didn't know how bad my audio was in that particular video, and maybe I need to go check the settings on some of my equipment and things like that. Because if somebody doesn't actually tell me, and I didn't catch it myself, then the next video I'm going to make is going to have that same hot garbage audio in it. And one final way where you can really spot the two different mindsets is how people see the success of others. Because the fixed mindset crowd, they feel threatened by other people's success, right? And I'm not talking about even like at their workplace where, you know, you're actually competing against other people in your office, in your job, you know, for promotions and things like that. But even there, you really shouldn't be threatened by people. You should be happy for people that are getting promoted and succeeding with that company. Because if they can do it, that means you can do it. If, if you don't see anybody else rising up you know and succeeding in that company that's actually a bad sign but many people have it all twisted in their minds in contrast the growth mindset kind of person he sees inspiration from other people succeeding you know he, he finds lessons in other people's success in the linux community i've seen this fixed mindset kind of crowd show up as far as the success of others especially the success of other linux distributions you see sometimes where the devs or the maintainers of a parent distribution they really feel threatened by the success of this offspring of theirs, right? This distribution based on them, because sometimes the distribution based on them actually becomes more popular, sometimes much more popular. And then the parent distribution, you know, kind of feels threatened. Or sometimes even the users of that parent distribution, for whatever reason, feel threatened by the success of this other Linux distribution. And, and it's weird to me because, because if you're based off of this other distribution and you're succeeding, guess what? You're helping the parent distribution too, right? It's like a rising tide lifts all ships. And I don't understand why some people just don't understand that concept. So you really have to have the right mindset to succeed at Linux, to succeed at your work, to succeed at life, right? If you want to grow mentally, spiritually, emotionally, you know, you want to be a better person. You want to transcend, right? You want to, you know, be more than you currently are. You have to have the growth mindset. You can't have the fixed mindset. It's like, you know, you're either on an ascending path or a descending path, right? And you can't just stay still. You know, it's like treading water. You can tread water, but eventually you're going to get tired and then you're going to sink. <laughs> and then you'll be on that descending path anyway. So in short, you're either growing or you're regressing.
Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I need to thank Absy, Gabe, James, Mitchell, Wes, Akami, Allen, Chuck, David, Dylan, Gregory, Erjan, Alexander, Paul, Polytech, Scott, Stephen, Smith, Wes, and Willie. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this episode you just watched would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I'm supported by you guys, the community. If you'd like to support my work, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. The people that love to assign blame, which mindset are they, do you think?